Welcome back to Kingdom Roy. Today I have a video showing you some things that you probably did not see with the average human's naked eye. Wow, that was quite a mouthful for the intro. But anyway, that's what I'm going to be showing you. I'd say maybe 10 things that you probably didn't see. And for the first one, we're going to click on news. And of course the saw thing is out and everything, but let's go to intense new undead seas missions. Boom. What a nice thing. We've already seen this before when it first came out. But like, what a nice picture. But then if you read it, Intense New Undead Seas Missions. Huh, I wonder what that means. Restore the Dark Summoning Key and fight against Ortelius. Now, I'm guessing that'll be a big boss, like Abomination. But like, yeah, different, of course. That's what I would guess. And then it says restore the dark summoning key. So I'm guessing you would be in a mission with like zombies, maybe undead seas or something. And you're like looking for the parts to find a key to something that'll open a portal and take you there. That's my best guess. But anyway, on to number two. Now, number two is quite obvious. I saw it when it first came out. But I mean, Call of Duty has put quite the emphasis on it to make sure people go and look at it so i'm guessing a lot of people don't look at it but if you look up to the top left there's rewards if you click on that there's like a whole little store so before you go to bed if you uh just want to watch some videos chill out stop playing the game i mean here there's a different epic weapon pretty much every week i think it is and uh yeah you watch the stuff and you get the reward Number three brings us to the bottom of the thing. We have loadout, clan, leaderboard, and arsenal. Let's click on leaderboard. That alone is something most people don't know. But we're going to take it into detail with uh, hidden thing number three. Number one, you can switch between the different modes. Okay, nice. But then, of course, there's like kill to death. There's, there's different things you look at. I'm not too proud of my stats right now, but anyway, if we go down to zombies, this I am pretty proud of, because if you switch over, I'm the top 36.0%. This is a little thing that a lot of people probably don't know about. If they want to compare themselves to the greatest out there, then uh, here it is, and according to Call of Duty Mobile, this stuff will never reset. I will show you that now. This leaderboard never resets. Nice. But, um, that's number three. Let's go to number four. All right, boom. Here we go. If you look to the bottom left, where, or, like, more towards the middle, but the left, the bottom one, there's, like, these different things. Now, there have been multiple different draws. Ever since this update came out, there's been, like, special draws that a lot of people have not seen or heard of. Uh, I honestly didn't see it until one day. I just looked and I was like, wait, how long has this been there? And uh, yeah, it pretty much refreshes whenever. Uh, since the updates come out, there's always been at least one. So that'll do it for number five. Let's go to number six. Boom, now this is for the noobs. A lot of people who are hardcore Call of Duty mobile players will know a lot about the stuff I'm saying. But for the noobs, if you go up here to the top left, and you see like the, it's like two people. If you click on that, and just that alone right there, friend invite. When you start out the game, this is a definitely a nice skin to pick up. There are going to be different skins for different days and stuff. Just invite your friends. I don't think they have to join. I've never done it, as you see. But I don't think they have to join. I think all you have to do is send it. So that would be a nice thing to do. And continue. Boom, and number six takes us to the loadout. This will be a combo of number six and seven. Being, first of all, if you click on a gun, and click on gunsmith, you'll see this little thing, like you can see the stats and stuff. There's a light bulb here, where you can look at that, and yeah. It has different hot recommended, so like things a lot of people use. That's up to that, but... Another thing I'm going to show you is this special thing right here. It has a magnifying glass and like three different bars. If you click that, it'll go into detail 
with all your stuff. Now, I remember a time when there was nothing like this out there. And I literally had to write down on a sheet of paper the different stats to kind of see. Because just going by the right side, which is the um number value of like your accuracy and mobility and stuff. That doesn't tell you the full picture. Because you see, you can see a lot more with this than you can with that. And then for number seven, if you hit the back arrow one time, you'll go here. And right beside primary weapon is this. Now, I organize my loadout, and I don't have a mythic on all of them. So if we go here, I organize my loadout. And it has to be, like, if I have an epic, it has to be an epic. So, uh, yeah. If you click this little thing beside the um, primary weapon thing, it's like a triangle type shape. It'll come up with all your blueprints, so everything epic and above. This is for Assault, SMG, Sniper, all, all the different ones. They all have that little thing. Now, for the next two things, taking us up to our Big Ten, we'll have to go over to the store. Now, uh, if you go down to For You, it's been out for quite some time, so I'm pretty sure most people know about it. But uh, for, I'd say, the first two weeks to a month, not a lot of content creators were talking about this. And this is this little feature here. Where you, basically, yeah, they just bring back old legendary weapons. Like, if you have a legendary weapon that you maybe didn't have the money to pick up at the time, or a draw that, uh, what, whatever the issue was, if you didn't get it, It'll more than likely come back in here. This is only for legendary draws. So legendary character and mythic draws are not going to be here. For those surprisingly, which this is not part of the video, just want to say. That surprisingly is coming here. They redid the dark side Nikto draw. So uh, maybe they'll go through them all again. I know for one I'll be picking up the mythic hogger. Now this, this is the best I have for a number 10, because I'm trying to do things that you probably didn't know, that you probably did know, but, but then again, I mean, you probably didn't. And, uh, so for this one, we're going to be clicking on the chat, the thing above loadout on the left side, looks like a message thing. If you click that, then uh, you have world, friends, and clan. Now, normally the standard way to invite somebody would be to go to a lobby, click in.